Alright guys, welcome back. My name is Alex. In today's video, I'm going to share with you why this market is very likely to gap down and drop tomorrow. We've got a ton of signs to go over. I just want to say I'm someone who is highly bullish on the market, but I can still come out and say that tomorrow, specifically, we do expect a bearish day. So find out why in this video and hopefully find out how you can walk away with a profit, which stocks you should be shorting and which stocks you should possibly be going long of if the market's going to drop. So let's go ahead and get started. So I know a lot of you are probably thinking right now, why in the world would this guy want to short the market? Has he been living under a rock? Does he not see the news? Google beats earnings by 66%. You've got Microsoft beating earnings. You've got Apple crushing estimates by 41%. You've got Facebook winning by 39%. And you've got Amazon beating estimates by 65%. So why in the world would you want to short this? Don't you see Everything's so bullish, okay? And so that's where a lot of people go wrong here. You're stuck on level one thinking. You're seeing what everybody sees. You're pointing out the obvious, right? Which is amazing numbers, rates untouched after the Fed meeting. We blast off higher here, right? And so everyone knows that, okay? That doesn't give you an edge over the market. It doesn't give you an edge over other people in the herd, okay? Trading with the herd gets you slaughtered okay so let's dig beneath the surface let's level up right let's go to level two here and let me show you what you weren't considering and what you didn't notice okay so all these amazing bullish catalyst GDP number amazing earnings rates untouched yet I guarantee you you didn't even take a look at the Nasdaq chart here today okay so despite all these bullish reasons despite all the news this week the Nasdaq couldn't even break past the top level of 14,060 points right so you had every single reason in the world to go higher than the top level yet it was unable to do so unable to do so okay and so at this point you got to be scratching your head right now if that wasn't enough to get the Nasdaq above that all-time high above that top level what is okay and the answer to that is nothing is going to push the Nasdaq higher than that top level as of now this is a temporary climax point after all these amazing earnings this week okay and so when you have that you have a further confirmation in the Amazon chart currently when they report earnings okay they blast off 200 points but they set a peak here and sell off a hundred points now Here's where, once again, a lot of people go wrong. They're so bullish that they refuse to see what's actually bearish here, okay? And so what's bearish here is the fact that Amazon already sold off 100 points from that peak, from that top, right? And so a lot of people think, oh, big deal, sold off 100 points from the top, but it's still up 100 points. But what you don't realize if you're a trader and you've been around the market for some time, this is a pattern and oftentimes a foreshadow of a top, okay? So when you have Amazon signaling a top and you consider that this is the last major bullish earnings report of the week that everyone has been waiting for, this is gonna be the perfect time for institutions to come in and start taking profits as we've already seen is exactly what they're doing with Amazon. It's exactly what they started doing with the NASDAQ. And we're gonna start to see it in Facebook. We're gonna start to see it in Google and Apple. Okay, as a matter of fact, Apple had as you saw some amazing numbers right let's go back here and let's take a look at that right 41 percent beat on EPS 15 percent on revenue you know they're up like 50 percent 45 percent year over year look at this pattern right it's the exact same pattern as uh, Amazon what which I was talking about foreshadows a drop so when you skyrocket and forfeit almost half of those gains okay basically what's gonna happen is most times you're gonna dump off the next day okay and so you can actually watch this tomorrow and see what happens to Amazon as a, a learning experience or you can try to trade it yourself okay now in the crash trading club is where I send out messages on you know when to get in and when to get out and, or just you know give the definitive game plan here I'm just trying to give you a general plan a general idea of what's gonna to happen tomorrow so basically with this pattern of forfeiting back half the gains it's once again a very strong signal for a top okay and so when you get this at the end of the week after such a beautiful week of amazing earnings and company growth here this quarter once again it's gonna be the perfect time for institutions to start taking profits on top of that when you actually break down the S&P 500 and notice that okay lately we've been getting stagnant up here right we had a 20 point move here 20 point move here all of a sudden you get a 40 point move which is double the average magnitude okay and so when the magnitude doubles what actually goes higher as well is the volatility and when volatility rises the market falls 
And this is the worst time to have volatility rising is at the peak, at the all-time high, right? Because guess what happens? If fear is rising at the peak of the market, there's definitely going to be profit taking. Does that make sense? So if we actually take a look at the VIX chart currently, you can see it's been basing out here for the last seven, eight days, right? So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight days. It has not been able to break past this 17 level. So if we actually take a look at this on the intraday chart here, you can see that clearly here, right? The VIX can't break down below 17. So anytime it's been getting down to 17, it's been spiking out higher. So if you're a day trader, this is something really good for you to look at. And basically what you can do is, okay, you can watch the VIX. If it gets down to 17, you see it starts getting support. You can actually start shorting the market when the VIX gets down here, right? Because if the VIX is going to spike out, guess what goes down? The market, right? And so a lot of you guys are experienced. You already know this, but if you're new to the market, I'm trying to explain this for you. So, you know, as I've been recording this video, if you recall at the beginning of the video, I started recording and, you know, the market was only down like six points. Now it's down 14, right? So like I said, the prediction here is we're going to gap down and continue lower because this is a perfect time to collect profits. The volatility index is rising at the all-time high, at the peak for the S&P 500. And Every bullish catalyst has now taken place this week, right? GDP, uh, FOMC meeting, you had the earnings. Okay, so it's all it's all taken place, and now it's time to settle down a bit, okay? And so on top of that, right, the last thing I want to point out here, you could see the market was topping out here at 41.86. So we created a very strong base right here. But as you could see, the market really had no problem slashing through that level, which is not a good sign, okay? So you want the support to be stronger. And just at this level, we actually don't have as strong of a support as we, we thought we did, right? So it's important to understand that. And that being said, that's like, what, four reasons uh, that I've explained to you in this video. Um, so I hope this makes sense. I hope that's helpful for you. That being said, what is the plan for tomorrow? You want to be shorting Amazon stock, guys. This thing will fall. You will make a lot of money if you short this. I recommend you join our trading group after you make some money on this trade. Literally just one single Amazon put tomorrow will pay for 10 months of your membership. All right, that's why we're the best in the world. We give out definitive trades, definitive game plans. And so, you know, obviously in this video, I just said, hey, short Amazon. But if you want to know what strike price to be getting, you know, when to short it, do you want to short the bounce, short the open? Do you want to wait a little? When do you actually want to get in? All right, that's where the course comes into play. That's where being a part of the club comes into play, where I really explain these things in detail and make sure you understand it. So if you're interested in joining us, expanding your knowledge, and actually seeing me uh, demonstrate the course material on a week-to-week -week basis, right? We don't just give you a course and then leave you in the dirt, okay? You're actually going to see me apply the course material every single week and actually display the winning trades from the material we show you, okay? So if you're actually serious about trading, you want to get to that next level and see how we do it, all right? I promise you, you'll love our club. You'll make a ton of money. Literally, all it takes is one single trade and you pay for like 10 months of your membership, all right? So click the link below so you can join us if you want to get started like our members, um, and get real-time interaction with me on these trades. That being said, I wish everyone the best of luck on these, uh, you know, Amazon trade idea here. Obviously, I won't be able to keep you up to date here if you're just on the YouTube channel, but like I said, wishing you the best of luck. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, don't forget to drop a like. Make sure to subscribe. With that being said, I'll see you on the next video. Let's rock and roll. Have a great day.